Hello, I'm Hardy Jones. I've been a diver for more than 40 years. I've seen the ocean change enormously, mostly for the worse. So, In April 2000, film actor Ted Danson and I saw the potential for the Internet to help turn things around, to begin restoring the oceans instead of plundering them. So we founded BlueVoice.org. One of our major campaigns has been to stop the slaughter of dolphins in Japan. It looks like a lot of fun. The kids love it. It even looks like the dolphins are enjoying themselves. But did you ever wonder how these dolphins got here? How they got into these cement and plexiglass tanks? It's not a pretty story. One of the world's largest sources of dolphins for captivity and certainly the cruelest, is the infamous dolphin drive fishery in Japan. Imagine a school of dolphins frolicking off the coast. Suddenly, they hear the sound of engines, and then the overwhelmingly painful sounds of the banging of metal bars. The dolphins flee before the terrifying sounds. But their flight takes them into a confined and unfamiliar space. There, the young and pretty members of the pod will be gang wrestled into a sling and then hauled away to a lifetime of confinement. Those not selected will be taken to slaughter. The money paid to the fishermen by the captivity industry is a major inducement for the dolphin hunters to pursue their bloody business. Does he think that the money that is paid... Without this money, Half the profit from capturing dolphins would disappear. The manager of a large aquarium near Futo was quite open about it. Money from aquarium to fishermen. The money from the aquarium is one, one of the reasons that the fishermen continues the dry fisheries. One month later, the fishermen at Futo found a dolphin pod. They drove about 100 bottlenose dolphins into the notorious harbor. Representatives of the aquariums arrived. The fishermen, conspiring with the local police, barred access to the harbor. But it was possible to shoot video from the hill above. The dolphins taken at Futo in 2004 were not subject to the atrocious slaughter the fishermen carried out in 1999. This was due to the avalanche of protests that followed that slaughter and our continued monitoring of this village. The dolphin hunters hate exposure of their work. The fishermen did kill four dolphins, but to do so they took the unfortunate creatures into a tent so they could not be photographed. Inside the tent, the dolphins' throats were cut and they were butchered for meat. The remainder of the pod, battered and terrified, were then forced out of the harbor and fled to sea. To the captivity industry, dolphins are just commodities. We found dolphins from the 2004 Futo drive hunt in Ito, Awashima, and Shin Enoshima. We also found dolphins in a pool on the third floor of the Shinagawa Prince Hotel in downtown Tokyo. Fighting the capture of dolphins in Japan for more than 25 years, I've seen captivity facilities that wrench the heart. It's almost unimaginable what the dolphins must experience 
in wretched facilities such as these.